Hi everybody, Co here with another thoughts video, this time on Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver is a game that I played in early access and I quickly pretty much fell in love with it. And then when it came out in full release, I now have 30 plus hours in it. I'm not done. I am done with the main story, but there's more to do. And I have to say, it is one of the chillest, just most generally fun indie games I feel I've ever played. Uh, Dave the Diver at Heart is a combination of two main things. The first one is a diving game where you go under the ocean. There's a bunch of different biomes, tons of different fish, lots and lots and lots of loot and different things to get. Uh, you have a full upgrade system, both with your weapons and the equipment that you go diving with, as well as a plethora of other systems that are introduced throughout the story. And that's the first side. The second side is a management simulator where you actually run a sushi shop. Now, that sounds kind of basic at first, but not only does that have its own gigantic amount of mini games associated with it and various upgrade paths, but you hire employees, you actually run the shop during business hours. There's a whole different thing to that and, and ways to customize and make that work to your benefit and, or negative, negative in some ways. But the thing about Dave the Diver, and, and let's kind of start at the beginning here. Dave the Diver looks great, has phenomenal music. There's no voice acting, but it doesn't really bother me too much, especially because there is a little bit of an audio cue during uh, text subtitles displaying themselves, but it's not, it doesn't get in the way like in many other games. Some games when they have an, an audio associated with text that isn't voice, it's kind of like a clicking or a beeping, or sometimes it's really long and, and it gets really in the way. Day the Diver doesn't do that. There's usually just a quick little audio blurb, shows you the text and you can kind of move on. So yeah, it, it works out well. So again, it looks great. The music's beautiful. The sound effects are awesome. It is viscerally charming. And on top of that, this game is just, and, 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 I, and I have trouble finding the, the proper words for this. It never stops being fun. And what I mean by that is at 10 hours in the game, you're still discovering new mechanics. At 20 hours in the game, you're still discovering new mini games and things to do. At 30 hours in the game, maybe you've even completed the main story, but there's a potential, like me, to have it so you haven't even seen some of the biggest mechanics in the game yet. It's, it's wild how much this game doesn't just give you a gameplay loop and rely on it, but is constantly pushing things forward. New cutscenes, new mini games, new missions, new things to do, new special days coming up, new people coming by your store. It's, it's one of those games where you can literally, like I said, put 30 hours into it and every single hour you're seeing something new or something you haven't seen before. Add on top of that, that not only do you start with diving and managing the sushi store, but eventually you're managing multiple other things as well. Um, I can't get too much into it because it's a little spoilery, but it gets to a point where you are essentially doing small bits of many of my favorite indie games kind of all in one package. Um, and I just got to say, the game is a freaking joy. Uh, I strongly, strongly recommend Dave the Diver. It is incredibly fun to play. It is a joy to listen to and watch. And it is, frankly, fantastic. It's a fantastic game. And I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend it. Especially considering I think right now it's 20 bucks. If if not, yeah, it's, 20, it's $20. So huge value there as well. And it's pretty freaking great. So go pick it up and check it out. Um, I do want to point out that uh, I, I erroneously at the beginning of this playthrough said that this game was by Mint Rocket and published by Nexon, which of course infers that Mint Rocket is an indie dev team and then Nexon, the kind of big conglomerate, published it. I did later find out that Mint Rocket is a created subsidiary of Nexon. So full disclosure, and just so you know, so you have all those tools in your toolbox, um, this is a fundamental Nexon game. Uh, Nexon has its own public relations stuff to deal with. <laughs> and, and if that is something that influences your decision, I feel it is important that you should know that before picking it up. That being said, um, I, I do think this game is phenomenal by itself. Uh, that didn't really change anything for me. And I still think it's worth 20 bucks. No question. It definitely is a different direction from what you would call, I guess, characteristically Nexon. And maybe that's the whole point, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Strongly recommend. Super good. And I hope you enjoy your playthrough even half as much as mine, because if you do, then you're probably going to have an absolutely great time. Thank you for watching this thoughts video. I hope you enjoy your time. You will find me at twitch.tv slash go carnage. I will see you in the channel for more fun and games. And as always, appreciate you being here. See you guys later. Bye-bye.